Hello everybody, my name is Puff and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this, which is Ethos Googler. Uh, this is a really cool contraption. I thought it was one of the coolest uh, storage devices um, that I've seen. So I decided to uh, go ahead and recreate it in my own world and then uh, I saw some demand for a tutorial and it's been a year since uh, Etho posted it. So I decided I'd make a tutorial. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So materials you're going to need are right here uh, in this shulker box. Not, don't worry about this, but right here is what you guys are going to want to gather up. So pause the video, uh, do what you need, and get everything in this um, box. Keep in mind, this could be any type of block, this can be any type of glass, it can be any type of slab, any type of wooden pressure plate, and any type of wooden button. Okay, so the easiest place to start is going to be uh, your input system, so where you input the item to search for. So go four blocks up and place your pressure plates. Um, and yeah, so that's going to be pretty simple to do. Uh, keep in mind, floor level is going to be right here. All right. Uh, so now what you're going to do is create a little bit of a system here. Um, first of all, what I think is the easiest is to do this system here first, right? Then over here, you're going to have this block here replace this and then do that and there you go you have uh, your system put a detector rail here and then right here you're going to have a redstone uh, repeater going into a piston with a block on top uh, so to signify that the block is actually have is going to be moved by a piston i like to put a different type of block on top of it it really makes it easier when uh, working with redstone and so then come over here and place uh, redstone dust and a repeater like so. So, yeah, your minecart's going to come over here and trigger this and trigger this. And so this is going to go into a little staircase here that's three tall. And you're going to come up like that. And this is going to have a piston on top of it with a piece of uh, or a redstone block on top of that. Just like that. Okay, so now what you want to do is you're going to... Come in front here and this is going to at, uh, power that when you have these two redstone here okay and then right here you're going to have a piston this is going to determine when the system is on or off and then you can have your redstone lamp here that will show oh systems on or oh systems off okay so now what we can do is you can come down here and we can set up the off system for it so you're going to Get yourself an observer and have that facing upwards into the sticky piston. You're going to have a uh, trapdoor right there. Make sure it's still extended though because this is on the off state. Okay. And then right here what we're going to do is have a uh, repeater on one tick. Then we're going to have a sticky piston with a block on top of it with a repeater going right into that with a block here and a repeater going into that block from that side already and so this is going to actually be taking um, the signal from a block here which is going to have a detector rail right on top of it okay so then go up here get your regular rails here and here like that so you're going to have this little bump system Power source is there, and then two powered rails on top, like so. You can put a block there, because uh, this is where the minecart will fall down and come back into the system and stop right here. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, circle this around like so, and then this is going to go into a uh, powered rail, which is going to go up, and then up again over here. Okay. So one, two, like so, just like this. Uh, I think I need to do three here, sorry. Just like that, sorry. So boom, boom, and boom. So you have this kind of bumpy system here. Uh, and what you're gonna do is get yourself a temporary block, place it on top of there, get yourself some hoppers, and you're gonna have your hoppers face into here, 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 and here, and destroy that. Okay, so my best recommendation for this is to actually um, fill these up now rather than later. Um, it is a little bit of a hassle, but it is worth it. So get yourself a anvil 
and get yourself uh, four different types of items. So stone, granite, polished granite, and diorite will work. You're gonna name each one, or not anvil, uh, each one a, diff a different name, so. There you go, there's the four different items, and you're gonna need to name uh, five stacks of each, so keep that in mind. Or, you know, something to fill each one of these up. Uh, so we already did two, this is three, and four. So four, three, two, one. They all gonna be differently different names. They don't have to be a different items, but different names. Uh, okay. So that's set up, and now what you want to do is come over here and put a block and a block there, and then you're gonna have your uh, rails coming over here like so. Now these rails are gonna come down here, come over two two blocks like this, uh, two rails like so. And you're gonna come up uh, right here, so boom, boom. And then here you're gonna have another one. And you're gonna come up again. And this is gonna be two more like that. Boom, boom. And then here you're gonna have another rail here. You're gonna come up once again. Boom. And I believe you're gonna go up two like so. Boom, boom. And then here is going to be a detector rail. Just at the very top. And then right down here, you're gonna have a block with a piece of redstone dust right on top of that. And then you're gonna have a regular piston, like so. And yeah, there you go. So this uh, may look like a mess of rails, but this is kind of the system that the minecarts are gonna follow when you build this thing. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> so we almost have the full minecart uh, track complete um, however we do need to do a little bit more um, so we do need to power this stuff so you know however you want to do that boom 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 uh, for me doesn't really matter how I do it but just get it there and then right here we're gonna have a hopper and we're actually gonna need three hoppers so we're gonna have um, one, two, three, like that. And this one actually is going to be facing down right here. And that's going to be into a double chest. Like so. All right, so coming over here, you're going to go uh, one, two more up. And then on the third one, you're going to do this two by two here. It comes up around like that. Uh, so this is going to follow up till here and you're gonna get our detector rail uh, two of those and then power rails once again and then uh, this is actually going to be leading into a hopper which is gonna be facing down you're gonna have uh, two four hoppers like that the block in the middle you're gonna have uh, two power rails there two power rails there and a detector rail in the middle a block coming out there with uh, a little T-shape like so. Get your um, redstone comparator, place it there, and three redstone dusts like so. On the edges here, place a torch and a torch. And then you're gonna come down here and place some stuff like that. Now don't, don't worry about this uh, rails, it'll go right through it. Um, then what you do is you're going to place actually you don't need this block there that's not necessary place redstone dust there redstone dust there then you're gonna get a repeater and you're gonna place the repeater there and there there and there alrighty so now you can probably tell what that does that locks these hoppers <laughs> alright so now what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, this is gonna be your kind of sis part where you, you sit and you see your shulker box and so you're gonna make sure that your shulker box is actually getting fed items so go ahead and do that like so Alrighty, and now go ahead and get a dispenser. This is gonna be your dispenser to dispense your shulker box. Um, this here can be a glass uh, block. Like that, right there is 
perfect. All right, so coming down here by this piston with the uh, redstone block, you're gonna place a block with a comparator coming out of it into another block. And then you're gonna have a block right here with redstone dust. And then down here, you're gonna have a uh, repeater into a block. Oh yes. So you get this little system here. And that is going to um, provide a system to move shulker boxes from point A to point B. So you're gonna actually need to put a uh, hopper facing down right there. And you're gonna need a chest right there with a hopper that way, a chest right there. And then you're going to have a hopper going into that chest with a hopper there. And then you're gonna have a chest uh, like that. All right, and then here, you're gonna have a hopper and a hopper, just like that. So this is your kind of chain where hoppers go, boom, 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 boom. And this system makes sure that uh, hoppers only get funneled in when we want them to, this redstone here. Okay, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this uh, and go out one, two, and then you're gonna start building a staircase up. And uh, we're actually gonna have to end it here because we do need to build the, the second section here, which is going to have dispensers right here. One, two, three, four, five, like so. And then on the other side, we're gonna have uh, some sticky pistons. Five sticky pistons and five sticky pistons like that. Then you're gonna get your glass. Alrighty. So now this is a really interesting system. This is probably the, the coolest thing the Etho did. Uh, and that's where the shulker boxes, when they get destroyed, they actually get funneled up <laughs> instead of uh, falling down. So that's really cool. Now, uh, the timings on this system is very important. So, yes, I'll make sure to double check them when I tell you guys what they are. Uh, so go up one and then across the top here with redstone dust going all around like that. On this end one, you're going to place a uh, torch. Then below it, you're going to place one, two, three, four, five like that with redstone dust and you should get this uh, system how it's normally supposed to be so uh, then place a repeater here on two ticks into a block and exiting a block and then uh, you can put a block on top if you like but I don't see the need then you're gonna put a piece of redstone dust here and here is going to be your entrance here this is gonna be on once again two ticks a block here a block here Repeater here on three ticks, block here, and then we're gonna get our observers. And these are all gonna be facing down, so. All right, and then place redstone dust on top. And you'll hear these all get triggered here, but they don't have anything in them yet. Okay, and then place a piece of redstone dust there. Coming into this, you're gonna have a one tick repeater with uh, a sticky piston with a block on top of it, with uh, a slab going into this one, with redstone dust. And then, yeah, this will be a redstone line that we connect up later. But if we test it out, um, so that is the basic system. Then you're gonna get some glass and fill this section here in a piece of glass there, two there, two there, glass there, and then you're going to have uh, to fill in the top here and leave this gap open to place water in later. All right, so taking a uh, output from this hopper here, I'm going to take a comparator out and put that into a block here, and then another block here with a piece of redstone dust underneath, and then block here, and then this is where this is going to attach up to. So. Uh, boom boom like that and then uh, on the other side of this you're gonna have a whoops oh, don't destroy that <laughs> have a block over here 
with a repeater on one tick like that. Okay, and then uh, this line here, you're going to have uh, to complete. So do this, and then, um, yeah, actually this <laughs> needs to be one lower. Like that. Get your um, rail line up going around here. Put it there. Put more rails here. And then you're going to go ahead and get hoppers. Place them facing into these. Make sure it's two sets. And then bring uh, powered rails up around here. Place a block on top. And this is going to be your uh, power source for that. Just like so. And then down here, you can place a power source right here if you'd like. And then you can get rid of this one. So, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, so now we have a pretty good system getting the shulker boxes from down here to up here. Alrighty, so the mess of rails uh, continues. <laughs> Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to need to do some redstone out the back here. So uh, underneath this guy, bring uh, a little bit of a platform out. And this is going to have a piece of redstone dust here with a uh, comparator. I need a comparator. Uh, like uh, coming out like that. And then you're going to have a repeater come out like that. And then you're going to have a uh, comparator there. And then this comparator here is going to go into a block just like so. This one's going to have two pieces of redstone out the side there. And this is going to have a piece of redstone. And then this is going to be a repeater. Set one tick and then have a block. And then on the other side, you're going to have a repeater set to four ticks. And this is going to actually act as a power line later. All right, so here is actually going to be a redstone torch. And then this is going to um, come out a few blocks like that. But on the second one, you come up here, up here, and you connect up this line here. There we go. And then this is a good chance to fill in these gaps here with glass. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Boom, just like that. That should be pretty good to go and then fill in this section there. Alrighty. And then right here, um, so you're going to need some room to build this. You're going to go ahead and place a piston one block behind here. Just like so. Okay. Now you can fill in the glass just like that and then put a block there. Uh, this will actually go into a block here, and we will run our redstone line right like that. All right, so now uh, what you want to do is come down under here and place one, two, three, and four like that. Come up here, uh, put a piece of redstone there with a comparator there, comparator there, and redstone uh, repeater right there, set to four ticks. All right, so now uh, up here, you're gonna do a little um, split here. You're gonna have a repeater set to two ticks with a sticky piston and a block on top of it. Like that. And then here and up one and over like that. You're gonna have redstone dust and a redstone torch. And this will actually power that and that, if you did it right. <laughs> Okay, so now what we want to do is this is going to be kind of the tightest part of the redstone, but you get a repeater out of hue. All right, so into a block here, and then you're going to put a piece of redstone dust, two there, and then one here. This one's going to be set at one tick, and then you're going to have two set to four ticks like so. And this is going to be going into a, a delay clock here. Uh, like that, so you're going to have two bits of redstone there, stone there, and then you're going to want the comparator to be facing into the redstone torch block, and then that one going that way. All right, now put a piece of redstone here with a block on top of it, like so. And so what that's going to do is it when you get items coming through here, we're going to refresh this um, clock to make sure that we're getting all of the... Uh, uh, the shulker boxes 
already. So now what we're going to do is we have a few more things up front here to do. So uh, what we want to do is we want to install our emergency switches. So uh, we need some slabs. All right. So what we're going to do is with this, you're going to come out one, two, and uh, on the, the third one, you're going to put a block. And then underneath, you're going to have two blocks like this. And you're going to also have a torch here. And a sticky piston like that. And then you're going to have your two buttons uh, of any wood variety. So you do that one. It will make sure nothing, everything gets unpowered, etc. On this one, what we need to do is we need to do redstone line like that. All right, so now come to this side, you're going to want to fill in the glass and blocks here. So right here, uh, you actually need to place a block right there and then you can fill it in with glass however you like. Um, do that and come over here and place glass here and here like that and just fill this side in really is kind of the best way to go about it. Uh, just like so. You know, however you want to do it. But as long as it's filled with a lot of glass in there, you fill those spaces. Um, and this one here too. You should be good to go. All right, so uh, set this block tape to off now because the system is off. And what we're going to do now is we're going to test the system and uh, prep the system. So to prep the system, uh, you're going to want to fill this in here as well. Uh, boom, 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 boom. And then glass just all along there okay and if you'd like you can do that with glass or blocks or however uh, this one here can be a block and you can put a, a button on it and that's going to allow you to get shulker boxes so and fill this guy with shulker boxes and boom you get a shulker box that's gonna get ready to filled uh, like so then over here is where you're going to input items. So I recommend putting some end rods on top of it so you don't uh, accidentally power it by the player. And then obviously your floor is going to be here. So something like that, you can come over here, you can get your items that you want to search for and search for them. Uh, if you want to fill in the floor here, that's all good. Uh, you know, maybe you want to make it look nice, you know, however you want to do it. Um, but just to show it works and everything, we're going to do that. Um, and of course, you know, you're going to want to have a wall here and all that good stuff. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and run the system for the first time. Um, but to do that, we do need to add some hopper minecarts. So you're going to need three hopper minecarts. Hopper minecart number one, you're going to stand here and place it like that. And it will do something just like that. Uh huh. The next one, you're going to come down here and place it right there. Okay. And then the last one is going to be the uh, first one you cycle. It's going to be right there. Alrighty. So looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and say, all right, I want to search for, uh, you know, buttons, right? Boom. Aha, uh -huh, we're searching for buttons and we have our first snag. Uh, these guys aren't powered. <laughs> so let's go ahead and power them <laughs> uh, so right here and uh, another snag we filled in glass too well <laughs> alrighty and then over here make sure that you're actually powering everything so this is why we do a test run guys uh, alright so to power it what we do is we can just come over here put a block and a uh, uh, lever and power it okay that'll do just fine I mean it doesn't really matter how you power it as long as it's getting power I just don't put the lever under this piston <laughs> all right so now we can go ahead and run it again now if it does right we'll have the stone button here we can search for that once more there we go we have the uh, thing working here so let's go ahead and see if it searches for the items correctly. So let's go ahead and get uh, some shulker boxes. 
Alrighty, and we get our three shulker boxes here that we can search for, so some there, we'll have some there, and we'll have some there. Okay, we have a chest full of shulker boxes to search for, and we want to search for uh, purple wool. Alrighty, so we're doing our base thing. We're like, okay, we need some purple wool in this shulker box here. Uh, we know we have some purple wool in the system, but we don't know where it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and search for purple wool. Alrighty, let's see what happens. Oh, we get some white shulker boxes. Okay. Uh oh, we have a we have a system problem again. Well, guys, uh, it does seem like simple things can surpass you. So we do need some water here. Aha. <laughs> That will change everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. So that seemed to be the problem that uh, was causing that was that caused the issue there. So yeah, <laughs> make sure you got your water in your system. But now, uh, as you can see, if we look in here, we're getting uh, our wool. Uh, entered the wrong. So this is the right state, I believe, that we want it in. Uh, we don't want it going into this chest here until. Is done let's just try that one more time uh, so yeah configuring the system does take a little bit of work here I want to make sure that everything is right here before I let you guys go all right so one thing to check is this needs to be on four ticks here uh, so keep that in mind all right so if we search for something uh, real quick just to see All right, so as you can see, uh, we've got it working. So basically all the little fixes, you just gotta make sure that everything looks just right on this thing. And uh, yeah, every, every timing is pretty um, good to have. Now, as you can see, this actually uh, powers this hopper here now. So nothing can go back into here. And as you can see, all of the hoppers that we've sorted through are ending up in here. We're actually searching for purple wool right now, which looks like we're getting some of. Um, and yeah, so this system works pretty, pretty well. Uh, however, since this thing does require a lot of checking, like it even after doing a tutorial on it, um, I had to check everything. I will provide a world download for you guys in the description below, and it will have this world here along with a, a lightmatic in the, uh, world file as well. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this video useful and hopefully, um, yeah, ho hopefully everyone that watches it now has access to making a Googler. Uh, cause I think this thing that Etho made is really amazing. Bye-bye.